some of the learning objectives. We're going to discuss the who are the candidates, and I think Karina just covered this so nicely. I don't have to go too much back to it, uh, but also providing some appropriate denervation technique and um, uh, talk about the outcomes, at least data that we have right now. So when it comes to knee denervation uh, using radio frequency ablation, um, in any practice we use two blocks with greater than 50% of the pain relief, which is a relatively high standard, to go on and have the radio frequency ablation completed. Uh, the our denervation process is based on uh, mainly this beautiful study with a very wide frequency of the nerve positioning. I'm not going to go back to uh, you just heard about it, but I really want to warn you about the location, wide location of these of these wide frequency. If you look at the 15 cadavers and this beautiful dissection that was completed by Anna Gore and all of the Michael Goldfield, others, uh, uh, Philip Feng, 